mango salsa is so delicious to have on hand it's a little time consuming to make but once you have it ready you're going to be able to use it for a number of different dishes so let's get to work here we'll start by slicing our mango down the center and removing that pit i'd always advise using the ripest mangoes possible once you have the pit removed let's use our knife to score the mango all the way down to the skin be careful not to pierce the skin and then you'll turn your mango and you'll do it the other way you'll have what are left looking like a bunch of squares. If your mango is extremely ripe, you're going to be able to use a spoon to remove the mango from the skin. You'll see here, this mango is not extremely ripe, so I have to switch from using my spoon to my fillet knife, which is just as good. We can still make this work. So let's go ahead and remove all of the mango from that skin. We'll do both sides, and then we'll bring back in the big pit and we'll clean off any of the remaining mango that we can salvage here. We don't like to waste anything in my kitchen. Okay, let's take our knife and proceed to dice up our mango really finely. We like really small cubes here. Go ahead and add that to our bowl and then clean up any remaining mango that we have. Again, we don't waste anything in my kitchen. Mango tastes so good, we wouldn't want to waste it. Let's move on now to our red bell pepper. We'll need a half bell pepper. Again, diced up finely here. Let's be sure not to have any seeds inside our bell pepper. A little kick in our mango salsa. We'll take one jalapeno pepper. Let's remove all of the seeds using a spoon and we'll dice that up really finely and add that into our bowl as well. Next, we'll move on to our red onion. We're going to use one quarter of a red onion diced very finely. We'll add that into our bowl as well. Here's one of my favorite herbs. I love cilantro. Two to three tablespoons. I even add an extra fourth one because I love the flavor so much and we'll add that into our mixture. Give that a good mix and we'll add in a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice and one tablespoon of fresh lime juice. Next and finally, we'll add in a dash of pepper and just a pinch of salt. And there you have it, our fresh mango salsa. Uncle Drew's Kitchen, we're ready to cook some great dishes using this as our topper. Boom. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.